What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing something different today. We're gonna be doing a shoe review on the Equalizer 247s, bro. I think they named it that, honestly, just because you can wear it 24 seven. It's breathable. The material is good. The cushion is good, bro. We, we just don't have to dive into it, bro. Let's go. All right, so for the first thing, man, the traction. They have this, like, basically like a like a legit, like, this is a, a whole foot box. It's not just a toe box, bro. It's a whole foot box. I would say, like, the traction on this, <clears throat> it kind of looks like it wouldn't have a, a good amount of traction, just, you know, definitely from the outside. But they made it to where it fits the foot perfectly. I mean, you could look at it, bro. It literally has an indention of a foot, bro. It's, it's pretty legit. Now, I haven't been able to hoop in these. I only did a training video. If y'all want the, y'all want to be able to see that training video, link is right here. But we were only able to do a training video and we kind of like, we actually tried to do this video a few days ago. Just didn't work out, ran out of time. But um, yeah, bro, this shoe right here, when it came to traction, I think if I played in them a little bit more, I think I'd be able to give y'all a better review. But out of 10, I, honestly, I'll probably give the traction about an eight. Because honestly, you know, the, I was I was kind of training on a slippery floor. It hasn't been clean. Um, so even though the floor didn't have the best traction, it was still keeping me afloat. Um, now, I don't recommend playing these, playing these outside. And if you do play in them outside, keep them outside shoe. Um, but this, this shoe is way too beautiful, too high of a quality to really play outside. This is definitely not an outdoor shoe. I would say it's an indoor shoe, but you know, if you hoop, you hoop. If you got the money for it, bro, maybe you can have an indoor pair and an outdoor pair, bro. Now, for the cushion of the shoe, you will be surprised, bro. The cushion of the shoe is actually this like inner white part. It puts you in the same mind as the Addy Boost. And actually, the creator for Equalizer used to work for Adidas. I think he's getting a one up on Adidas and seeing um, maybe where they're lacking in and what he's gonna thrive in. So that team, they do a good job. Shout out to Inner Lab too, man. I actually wouldn't have known anything about these without Dev in the lab, bro. So shout out to him. Y'all wanna watch that video, man, the rise of J. Lou. But the cushion, 100% right when I put them on, bro, from heel to the toe box, 10 out of 10. It, it's everything that I look for in a shoe. I had the Bron 19 lows. And I would say like the, they had that Nike Zoom feel. Best shoe that I put on for a while. And then I got the AE ones. Best shoe I put on in a while. But I will say this, this shoe is the best shoe I put on. Like hands down, bro. Um, like I said, bro, the comfort from the heel, man, it, it just feels like you sitting on a cloud. Um, you know, like I said earlier, it does have that Addy Boost feel, but you know, it's, it's completely different. It legit feels like, the, um, so imagine like a, a really soft bed and you putting your foot on that bed and walking around. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it, bro, I don't know. <laughs> but the, the cushion is definitely 10 out of 10. If they keep this in their shoe with all their shoes, I'm, I'm buying all their shoes, bro. I'm buying all their shoes, 100%. Like, I ain't even gotta talk about nothing else. Now, the material. I was actually very surprised. For the price, I thought it was gonna be typically like how it always is. You get material from these Nike shoes and these Adidas shoes, and they kind of feel really plasticky. You know, it looked nice, but it still just got that plastic feel. It might have some, you know, some fake leather on there. But bro, this right here, and I was a, I was a sucker for the 2016, 2017 crazy explosives. And this is the first shoe in a while that I've seen do like that knitting finish on the top. And they obviously got the sock similar, like I said, bro, to the crazy explosives. But the material of the leather is, if you ever touch an NBA ball, it legit feels like an NBA ball. Like it's premium leather. You know, the cost for this shoe is $150. It's worth every penny. Um, the shipping only made it like 155, bro. The, the quality is top tier. I, ain't, I don't want to be too biased, bro, because I ain't really hooping them like that. But I definitely got to give it a ten, bro. I've never felt I never I've never felt a shoe like this. It, it can't get better. it can't get much better than this, bro. It really can't. And maybe maybe it can, bro. I don't I don't even know if that if that's a possibility. But Equalizer, I feel like they would be the ones that could really figure it out for the people. It's a really good shoe, bro. This is not a sponsor video. So this is all like, this is like legit non-biased. Like, I really do like this shoe, bro. I really can't wait to hoop in these for real. But also, since we're talking about sponsorships, this video is sponsored by somebody. And it's sponsored by me. 
So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, so y'all can get more videos like this. And if y'all want more shoe reviews, man, y'all let me know in the comments down below, man. But y'all also let me know by hitting that like button. We actually did a training video in these shoes. If y'all wanna see uh, CBs in action, see how they feel, y'all watch that video. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say the, the Equalizer 247, I say the two fours, they, they're true to fit. They're definitely true to fit. I, I debated if I wanted to get a bigger size or if I wanted to get a smaller size just because I feel like in my basketball experience of purchasing shoes, I feel like sometimes I get let down and like, in some type of category. Material is always hit or miss. Now, if I'm paying an arm and a leg for a shoe, a basketball shoe, I definitely want it to be high quality. But I would say these shoes are definitely true to size. They fit extremely well. Bro, I kid you, bro, the heel support. I... Now, I will say they don't have any like crazy customizable boxes. I mean, y'all see like this box is very basic. Um, it's just a plain box with their name on the top of it. But yeah, bro, link for the shoe is actually gonna be in the description down below. Ultimately, man, I can wear these shoes if I'm coaching in a weight room somewhere. They do have slides on here too. Say they like $50, but based off the cushion on this, I know the, the, uh, the slides definitely got a much higher quality. But yeah, man, this company's on to something. They definitely got a customer out of me. But yeah, man, y'all get y'all sales a pair of these, man. Y'all hit the link in the description. Like I said, bro, this video is not sponsored, so I ain't really making, I ain't making no money off of this. And last thing I will say uh, before we give the overall review, I would say the look of it looks like a high top shoe, but this little white leather box right here, it almost stops at like the top of it, I mean top of this knitting. But when you put the shoe on, it feels like it's a low top shoe. They might look like they're hot tops. They're definitely low tops, bro. They feel like a low top, man. It's hot. Bro, the innovation behind it is it's crazy, it's beautiful, but bro, material's great. I ain't gonna lie, it's excellent. It's top tier. I've never felt a shoe like this, bro. Really haven't. I don't know, man. Y'all get y'all a pair. Y'all let me. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. They really trying to change the name of the game when it comes to basketball shoes. So yeah, man. Y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like I said earlier, get you a pair.